Hey guys, today I'll be reviewing another Mini Cooper. This is a Mini Cooper S 135 kilowatt level three. So this is an electric version of the Cooper S. It's a 73 plate 2023 model. It's finished in midnight black two metallic with um, the white mirror caps and white roof with a 17 inch tentacle spoke alloys in black. It's got the mini yours pack. So you get the wheels in it with the center caps and the lever as well. Looks really nice. I've already viewed a level two and you'll be able to see a difference between spec. Like you get cloth, uh, you get leatherette and cloth. So yeah, there's some different um, things there. You've got Cooper S badging. Uh, all of these are Cooper S's because they basically have equivalent brake horsepower off a two litre Cooper S 184 brake. So yeah, that's the reasoning behind that. You've got both sets of charging cables, which is nice parcel shelf uh, all of these are also three door as well you've got a charging port as well with a seven pin and two pin combo charger comfort access just by clicking this button i also found out that um, obviously when you lock the car the mirrors don't fold but if you hold the button the mirrors do fold so quite interesting Moving in on the inside, you've got the full Mini Yours uh, satellite grey leather interior with grey sort of uh, piping there, cloth piping and grey stitching with diamond stitching in the middle. Looks really nice. Most of these have the carbon black leather, which I don't think looks as nice. This grey leather definitely looks a hundred times better. In the back, you've got two seats as well with the same stitching and the headrests. Nice high quality, no fake leather here. Most electric cars now have a artificial synthetic leather. To start it up, you just click this green button and uh, yeah. You get cruise control as well, voice control and telephone controls on the steering wheel. And uh, gray, satellite gray carries over to this armrest here with piano black. Um, door panel trim you've got electric folding mirrors on the level three main features on the level three to note you've got a full um electric tilt and slide sunroof i guess you could call this panoramic but like on my old minis it's got a split sunroof so one for the back and one for the front only the front opens as you would expect you've got blinds for both sunroofs as well which is nice i'll just leave that closed for now so we can uh, see the entertainment tilts and slides also on the level three you've got the nav xl on the level two i reviewed you just get a nav screen um it's slightly smaller you've got the sides cut out a bit and it's not touch screen as well this just is just an iDrive bmw system i call these binnies because they're bmw minis um, and you can click the map button. Obviously, it's a touch screen, but I prefer to use the rotary dial. Um, so, yeah, you've got nav, radio, Bluetooth, uh, vehicle settings. You've got this ambient lighting here, which they've still kept, which is nice for classic mini interface there. And you've also got a head up display with your speed and speed limit. And when you actually unlock, uh, open the door, it says your ignition switched on with a start stop button there which is quite nice. So that also comes with a level three. Uh, like I said, I think it's a lot more value for money for level three, um, just to pay a little bit extra. It's definitely worth it. You've got the Harman Kardon sound system with two A-pillar speakers, one on each front door and two on the rear doors. So you've got four, five, eight speakers plus an amp which is nice, so like I said, you just start it up clicking that. You've got sport mode, a green mode. This has just got over 3,000 miles, so it's relatively low mileage. Uh, you've got a USB port with a USB-C and a 12 volt socket. You've also got a reversing camera. Um, so this basically has like the comfort pack standard. The level three is basically like a premium plus pack, if you know what that is. And you've got a reversing camera, self-parking. That's a park assist for self-parking. Very high definition camera, it does look really nice. And also on the level three, you get a wireless phone charger, enhanced Bluetooth with wireless charging, which is quite nice. You just uh, put your phone in this cradle and a blue light comes up on here, charges it. 
heated front seats comes along with the leather it's like a sort of package there and you've got some more like leather plastic up here which is nice piano black trim plastic leather dashboard really nice high quality you've got the ambient lighting controls here which is nice and two zone climate control also um so yeah two zone climate you get what else do you get you get the driver assistant pack with lane departure and pedestrian alert and forward collision warning uh, speed limit assist and yeah these only need to be serviced uh, every year it's pretty cheap and yeah it'll next uh, have a service later on overall quite nice i do like it double latch bonnet and you've got a cooper s tread plates as well with a green obviously if you see a green s you straight away know it's for electric mini with a red s it will be a petrol mini you've got piano black exterior trim as well and like i said you've got the led headlights I'm not sure if they're adaptive it's quite nice and you've got a hood vent there as well and just underneath you've got the 135 kilowatt motor 180 four brake horsepower so very similar to the cooper s petrol uh, one owner also yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video and i'll see you in the next one